That's what impresses the circus people, that we would leave what we know, and the only way we know to live, we leave that behind. And we come and we have a trailer and we move when they move. We do the same kind of work that they do. And they notice that we do it a little bit different. The people, you know, you meet them, you talk with them, they win your heart. They win you over. They only don't know their nuns for about a week. The sisters don't make it a point to go out and solicit anybody to do anything. They're, they're present with the people, they're just living with them. But when anyone has a request, they hear it. On Ringling, I have been the teacher. I've also pulled the curtain. That's a full-time job to pull that curtain open and shut. To a circus, if you have somebody who said, I will do anything that you need to get done, I will understand the hardships of the travel, I will provide my own support, oh, by the way, I happen to be a nun, and if somebody is interested in my help, or they have questions about the church, they can come to me. But that's not why I'm coming. I'm coming to serve and to provide you with a dedicated person to do whatever you need to do to help get the show down the road. People join the circus for many, many reasons. And uh, they know that whatever show you're on, you're probably gonna be fed and taken care of. And it's like, well, family where they'll protect you. So you see a lot of that. The Ministry of Presence is really entering into their lives and spending quality time with them. He's the circus chaplain, Father Jerry Hogan, you know. He's just a really, really nice guy. And when we have mass in the big top, everyone's invited, you know, and there's people from multiple different backgrounds and religions and cultures, and we all come together and, and have mass, you know, and it's, it's quite a wonderful thing. So you end up ministering basically to all faiths. And what you do is you sit down and you talk. It might be an elephant tub in New York City. It might be out in South Dakota. But you spend time and get to know these stories. My hope is that even for this ministry, St. Martha's will continue to be a hub. It really is kind of our mother church. The fact that we meet here, I think, is very significant. I never knew that the Catholic Church had been reaching out to these people for decades. But that's where we belong. Uh, we belong with every group of people. The circus people themselves provided the funds to build this church. This church became a parish in 1927, the same year as the Ringling came here. And then here, there was a little meadow and they had the circus tent. In seven years, Monsignor Erslander paid the entire debt of the church. So this is the church the circus people built.